welcome to another uh, episode, or maybe it's a webisode, of Thrive America. Uh, this is the show where we bring on a different guest. Uh, some are uh, thriving business owners like Chris, and some are consultants who, uh, who have something to teach us in the world of business. And this is a time where, where we need uh, people like yourself, Chris, to come on the show and talk about, uh, talk about what they know and how they're growing their business. Um, today, my guest is uh, Chris Heuser. Chris, thanks so much for coming on Thrive America. We're uh, glad to have you. Chris and I are uh, friends from uh, some of the same networking circles. Uh, Chris is a, a former improv student here at the Blank Stage. And uh, maybe later on, you're going to see some incredible improv from this gentleman here. Uh, so we'll see if we can pull that out of you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Chris, let's, let's first start off. Tell, tell us a little bit about yourself and what it is that you do, and, uh, and we'll, we'll go from there. Okay. Uh, currently, I own a mobile computer repair company, and what we do is we go out to uh, residential and small businesses and small home offices, and we repair people's computers. Um, kind of like what Geek Squad does and some of the other people running around, uh, except that uh, our uh, technicians are a little bit older, uh -huh. you know, they've got a little bit more experience, uh -huh. and they're able to deal with, you know, the 60 to 70 year old clients that's mainly our business. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So um, that's what we do. Uh -huh. and, uh, well, I, I also want to kind of segue this about about you and, and so the audience knows about Chris, is you've built up quite a reputation for doing extremely honest and affordable service. Um, you've definitely come come to Blank Stage and helped us with our computers, and I've referred you to several of my friends, all with all with great success. Um, we ask each of our guests to come to come on our show, and we ask them to come up with some talking points. And Chris, uh, Chris's angle is is uh, more from uh, an angle of to kind of starting your own business and how um, and some tips and some insight on how to do that um, and so we're gonna if it's okay with you Chris start sure. with your first point here um, the first point you, you mentioned here is now is the best time best time to start your own small business uh, why, why is that aren't we in kind of a difficult recession now and isn't it a, a bad yeah and, and that's the reason it's the best time to do that because if you just gotten laid off or your company's downsizing or you're thinking you're going to lose your job, that business that you've always had in the back of your head, now is the best time to do that. Statistically, and this has you know, been proven over the last you know, 100 years, you know, since the crash of 29, that in an economic downturn, more small businesses start, more millionaires are made in that time than any other time. Mm. Well, we were talking during the break a little bit about the history of, of one of your companies that was started during during the last recession. Mm -hmm. Can you can you educate me a little bit more about uh, about that experience that you had there? Sure. Um, I had just quit corporate and um, I'd moved to Hilton Head Island, South Carolina, and I was trying to figure out whether I was going to work for corporate again or if I wanted to start my own company. This was the Carter time uh -huh. uh, that we were going through: twenty percent interest rates. Mm -hmm. You know, you couldn't buy a house. I mean, no one had any money. Mm -hmm. And I decided I was going to start an advertising agency because I really liked helping people. I liked, you know, the advertising specialties, the pens and all that kind of stuff was, was kind of neat. And uh, I liked, you know, creating things for people that would bring in business for like hotels and hospitality. That's what we mainly worked with was restaurants and, and hotels. And uh, the first year uh, of that company, we did a million dollars. Well, why, uh, why, in your opinion, why is it e easier for a small business maybe to, to thrive right now than it says maybe for a larger corporation? Well, because if, especially if you're a one man, one man or two man shop, you know, a husband and wife team, you know, when you see an opportunity of, you know, making some money or, or providing a service for, for a, uh, you know, a client, you can move on a dime and provide that service. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we, uh, when we were doing our, our ad agency, we had a, a client that was uh, on one of the plantations, mm -hmm. and they wanted to use the same paper that the president used, mm -hmm. which was done by Crane's Crest. Mm -hmm. Well, we didn't have a segue into that, so we found someone that could get that for us, mm -hmm. and we were able to sell that order. Mm -hmm. A bigger company, you know, they have to have a, mm -hmm. a meeting, then it goes to the committee. You know, by that time, the opportunity is lost. So, mm -hmm. you know, a small business can react a lot quicker mm -hmm. and fill a need for a client. I think I, I, I may speak for a lot of people, but there's, there's probably a lot of fear right now with this economy. 
and speak to that, Chris. Can you can you speak to the person who's who's just um, maybe uh, self conscious or unconfident, lacks self esteem to say, oh, I, I have this passion for, um, like you said, they have this business idea and um, and they're just scared. They don't. They're not. They they don't know how to run a business. There's 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 some fear there. Um, can you speak to that? Do you, th do you think that may be resonating right now with some people as far as making that first step to starting the business? Yeah, I think that, you know, anytime that you are going to do something new, there's some fear involved mm -hmm. with it, you know, whether you're going to fail or you're going to be rejected. But, right. you know, if you don't do it, um, you know, if you don't have a job or, you know, you don't have any potential of getting a job. I mean, I have, I have a friend that's, he sent out 150 resumes and he still doesn't have a job. You know, a year ago, he sent out four and he got three offers. Mm. So I told him, I said, start your own business, start your own company. Mm. I'll help you do that. Mm -hmm. And there's people out there that will help you. Mm -hmm. Score is one. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's all kinds of, uh, mm -hmm. you know, agencies that will help you mm -hmm. formulate a business plan and get you started. Mm -hmm. And even some, if it's really good, provide some seed money if that's what you need. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, I know when I first started out with my business, I, I produced a video and I was like all really happy with it. And and I kind of thought that business was just going to come with snowball from that experience. And, and it really didn't. And I found SCORE and I found the, the folks there really helpful. And I had no idea there were these chamber of commerces and these general networking meetings. And, and that really, really helped me big time start my business. Um, so... Um, Let's go ahead and uh, move to the next point here with you, Chris. Um, it doesn't take a lot of money to start is your next, uh, your next principle in, in, in starting a, a small business for yourself. Um, doesn't it take a lot of money to start a, a business? Or what, what do you, uh, educate me on what you mean here. Well, it, you know, I, I can only speak from what, what I experienced when I started my first business. And it, it might have changed a little bit, but I don't think so. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I had some really awesome business cards printed up. Uh, I had letterheads and envelopes printed up, and that was basically my business. Then I went out and I went and saw people, and I talked with people, and I just told them what I did, gave them a business card, I would follow up with them, and I can continue to do that. So, you know, it doesn't take a lot of money. You just have to have the passion to do it, mm -hmm. you know, and you got to go out and get it. Mm -hmm. As simple as that, but you don't need, you know, thousands of dollars and offices and all that. That's not going to help you sell your goods and services. And I know later on you're going to talk a little bit about how to leverage the internet and, and some of the some of the really affordable ways to market your business mm -hmm. later on. Um, we're going to be back in just a minute with uh, with uh, our our interview here with uh, with Chris. So uh, uh, we'll see you back in just a little bit.